sub YouTube, simply unluckier. And today marks the beginning of our duel of destiny with Yugi versus Kaiba. And so we'll be doing two booster box, massive booster box openings for Duelist Pack Yugi and Duelist Pack Kaiba. So here we go, you guys. First, we have the Duelist Pack Yugi booster box here. And as you can see, there are five cards per pack with 30 cards or 30 packs inside. On the back, it says here, in a ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for a millennia. Now one boy has released the power. It's time to do. And so there's 17 common cards in Duelist Pack U or DPYG. Then there is seven rare cards, four supers. So the supers we have: Dark Magician Girl, Summon Skull, Polymerization, and Source Dark Magic Sorcerer. And then two ultra rare cards, which are Mirror Force and Dark. Paladin. So our goal here is to pull all of those cards. So we'll see what happens. And so I'm really excited for that. And uh, thanks to our friends at Ults Pro, I'm bringing out to one of my favorite playmats for them, which is, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon playmat with Hestia Bestia right here. And then we'll be using our uh, white Pro Clip sleeves for uh, most of the openings here. All right, you guys, let's get started. Let me pop open this booster box real quick. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and opened up the booster box and to my surprise, there are 72 unlimited booster packs inside. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, these are from the Duelist Pack Yugi Collector Box. So hopefully we get some awesome pulls, you guys. But we are opening 72 packs instead. This is the massive box opening. So hopefully we do end up pulling all the cards in the set, like I mentioned earlier. And let's get straight into it. Oh, man. So uh, look at this thing. It's like a freaking train. So this will be a little bit of a longer opening. Instead of 30 packs, we're doing 72. And uh, you may expect the same for the Kaiba opening as well. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Here we go. First pack. So out of 72 packs, I think we're opening for, I don't know, one foil per every four packs would be our, would be our goal here. And so uh, it's eight, 16 foils just about maybe. All right, here we go. And we get all of our tip cards inside as well. Oh, wait, no, no tip cards for the unlimited packs. Okay, okay. Swords of Revealing Light, so the commons will get pretty repetitive pretty quick, so Buster Belator, Big Shield Garden, a Queen's Knight, the knight that catches her opponents off guard with dominating them with swift yet graceful attacks. Cards of Sanctity. Each player draws up to six cards. That's what I think people are saying in the comments. Each player draws up to six cards. I think we're going to have to use the anime effect on that one. The Duel of Destiny. Here we go. We got Green Gadget, Karibo. Woohoo! Black Luster Ritual, Catapult Turtle, and Magical Hats are in here. Very nice. Dillas Pack Yugi, man, it's been a long time since I opened this set. This is actually very exciting. We're just opening Dillas Pack Yugi. Black Luster Ritual, Brain Control, Jax Knight, and oh baby, Dark Magician Girl, super rare. I mean, if we only pull Dark Magician Girls, I'm, I'm all for that. So, beautiful card, and Marshmallow for the rare there. Wow. Okay, Dark Magician Girl, look at that beautiful card there. Gains 300 attack for every Dark Magician and Magician of Black Chaos in either player's graveyard. Okay, we'll sleeve that up and set that over here with Hestia. Alright, so, got our first foil card. Let's keep it up. Part of the cards, guide us. Queen's Knight, plus Ritual, alright. Yeah, Luster Ritual, then Buster Blader, Diffusion Wave Motion, and Monster Reborn Rare. Powerful card for a uh, booster box battle, or should I say, Duel of Destiny. Alright, here we go. The Buster Blader returns. Swords, Rebo, and another Magical Hat. Okay. So let's uh, side our extra rares. Just want you guys to get a peek at all the rares in the set. Once again, it's uh, six, seven rares in the set. That's it. Yeah. So 72 packs we're opening, you guys. The right, the Light Force Sword. I always want to say the Righteous Sword. Jack's Knight, Catapult Turtle. Another Magic Lance. Okay, so that's six packs deep, one foil. So maybe we will have that average of uh, 16 foils. We'll see what happens. Swords are revealing light. Brain control. Cards of sanctity once again. Brain control could be a pretty powerful card to play multiple of. Because I'm trying to decide how we do this duel of destiny. Because basically, 
we're going to be playing up to three, I'm guessing, of every card in the set. I guess we'll have to see how the different booster boxes or sets battle against each other. Because Duels Pack Kaiba could get pretty broken as well, especially with some of those ultimate rare cards. And by the way, Duels Pack Yugi is a 30-card set. Duels Pack Kaiba is a 40-card set. So, Stronghold the Moving Fortress. Spellbinding Circle Blackluster. The Dark Magician. The Ultimate Wizard in terms of attack and defense. All of those there. Hopefully, we'll get another foil here sooner than later. Maybe these packs are pretty hard to pull foils. Karibo, Yellow Gadget, Buster Blader, Stronghold, and Exchange. Wow, so that's six rares so far. Karibo. Woo! All right. Blacklist versus Brain Control, Spellbinding Circle, Big Shield Garna, and another Marshmallow. Wow. Maybe these cards are much harder to pull foils out of. Are these packs? Okay, Blackluster, Brain Control, and the Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Oh, baby. This guy's actually about as valuable. I think he might actually be the most valuable card in the set. Because this is the highest rarity of him. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. And these do not have the foil stars to go with. So it's not like the new foil printing of the card. So Sorcerer of Dark Magic is cannot be normal summoner set, must be special summoned from your hand by tributing two level six or higher spellcaster type monsters. Cannot be special summoned by other ways. During either player's turn, when a trap card is activated, you may negate that activation if you do destroy it. This card must be face up to activate and resolve. 3200. Awesome, and then there is the Black Luster Soldier. So we got all seven of our rares. And then we have two foil cards so far. Okay, I'll go ahead and sleeve him up. Let's see if we could pull, like I said, all of the different cards in the set. All right, you guys, next pack, here we go. Big Shield Garner, Queen's Knight, Diffusion Wave Motion, Red Gadget, and another Magical Hats. Just thinking how this deck will... We might have to throw in some, like, skilled white and dark magicians. Swords of Revealing Lights, Diffusion Wave Motion, Cards of Sanctity this time. Three Swords of Revealing Light would be pretty, pretty crazy as well. Red Gadget, Buster Blader, Swords again, and the Marshmallow for the rare inside. So we are going to need to pull a couple of polymerizations, though, if we want to get our Dark Paladin out, which we're... Gonna need to pull as well, so hopefully we can get those. King's Knights, nice. and oh baby, there he is, the Dark Paladin. Also one of the more valuable cards in the set. The Dark Magician and Buster Blader combined as one for the Almighty. The Dark Paladin. Wow, that guy looks awesome. Alright, you guys. Um, must be Fusion Summon. During either player's turn, when a spell card is activated, you can discard a card to negate the activation if you do destroy it. This card, this... Must be faced on the field to resolve this effect. Uh, this card gains 500 attack for each Dragon-type monster on the field or in either player's graveyard. So uh, if you have Dark Paladin out and Sorcerer of Dark Magic, you can negate spells and traps. And Dark Paladin gets big playing against those uh, dragons. Wow. Alright. So we already got the almighty Dark Paladin. So that's one Ultra and two Supers. So we'll see what else we can get. Here we go. 72 packs. Kariba, Black Luster Ritual, Catapult Turtle, King's Knight, the Dark Magician. The Ultimate Wizard in terms of attack and defense. What's a Sorcerer of Dark Magic? He's a 3200, 2800 defense. Dark Magician's 2521. Red Gadget, Brain Control, Exchange. Next pack. Spellbinding Circle and the Almighty. The Summon Skull. A fiend with dark powers for confusing the enemy. Among fiend type monsters, this monster boasts considerable force. Six stars, 2500 attack, 1200 defense. This card is always treated as an Archfiend card. Awesome picture. Summon Skull. Very cool. Okay. 
Um, so now we're just missing polymerization for supers. And we barely got any monster reborn. So it was like harder to pull than the other rares. I guess we'll find out. Queen's Knight. Marshmallow once again. Buster Belators. Curious to see if there's any technically short print commons in here. Jack's Knight, Spellbinding Circle, Dark Magician again. The Ultimate Wizard in turns. And attack and defense. Jack's Knight. The strong swordsman, master swordsman, is loyal to justice and his duty to protect. Protect the weak. Cards of Sanctity again. Now we've got like three of every rare except Monster Born. The Dog Magician. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. I feel like it's going to happen a lot for 72 packs. Alright, come on. Mirror Force. Or, oh, there we go. Another Monster Born. Uh, Monster Born is target one monster in either player's graveyard. Special summon. Uh, but yeah, definitely want to look for Mirror Force. And if we're going to get multiples of anything, oh, we definitely need two, two polymerizations. Two Dark Magician Girls, two Summon Skulls, two polymerizations. Here we go. And oh, baby, there's another Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> oh, snap, this will pop. Very nice. So, two Dark Magician Girls so far. That is awesome. She doesn't get pumped up for Dark Paladin? What kind of baloney is that? Should be any fusion Dark Magician's a part of. Okay. So we're doing alright with our ratio so far. Got that Summon Skull, Sorcerer of Dark Magic, and two Dark Magician Girls. Like I said before, if we are going to get a ton of a single super, I would definitely prefer the Dark. The Dark Magician Girl. Brain Control. King's Knight. Yellow Gadget Magical Hats again. But yeah, you guys, post in the comments below if you guys feel like we should add any cards uh, to these different decks. Or just kind of let them duke it out with the cards that are in the sets. Because I think it would be a pretty decent game. I mean, it matters if we're going to play three Brain Controls or three Monster Reborns. But... Hello, baby! Another Dark Magician, girl! Here we go! The play sets! Holy moly! That's awesome! So if we are getting 16 foils, I think it'd be expected to pull at least two of every super. But pulling three is awesome. Now, pulling any more than three is pretty insane. All right, you guys. Here we go. Jack's Knights, Catapult Turtle, Light Force, Magical Hats. Jeez. So much awesomeness in this set. Keep it up. Brain control. Marshmallow on once again. Okay, here we go. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. And another summon skull. The fiend with dark powers for confusing the enemy. Go ahead and sleeve them up. Very nice. So we got two of those. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Big Shield Garner, Brain Control. Diffusion Wave Motion. What does Diffusion Wave Motion do once again? Pay 1,000 life points. Target one level 7 or higher spellcast type monster you control. This turn only that monster can attack, and it must attack all monsters your opponent controls once each of the effective effects monsters destroyed by these attacks are negated. Too bad, Black Luster Soldier. The Soldier's not a spellcaster. But I mean, what do you expect? Stronghold, big shield, and another Sorcerer of Dark Magic. All right, all right. I'll take it, I'll take it. So, we really need to pull the polymerization here. The alternate art polymerization, though. So, two Sorcerers, two Summon Skulls. Um, still missing Mirror Force, but I mean, multiple Dark Paladins. Shoot, that sounds nice. That sounds nice. All right, you guys. So, here we go. I think we're almost halfway through the packs here. Just about halfway. Jack Knight. Brain Control, the Dark Magician. Here we go. Buster Blader. Cards of Sanctity once again. Do we still only have two Monster Reborns? Crazy. A Gadget, Green Gadget. And oh baby, the Almighty, the Mirror Force, Ultra Rare. 
When opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy all attack position monsters on your opponent. Your opponent controls. Very nice. Marshmallow once again. So both ultra rares. And let's give a do a quick count of the packs we have left. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 36 packs. Wow. Perfectly halfway. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So out of 36, we got, what is that? Seven supers and two ultras. So this is exactly the halfway point through this opening, you guys. Let's see if our second half of the box will be our first half of the box. Take one more of each ultra, that'd be pretty cool. Spellbinding Circle, Magical Hats. Come on, where's that third monster reborn at? King's Knight, Blackluster Ritual. Big Shield Garna, and another Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Jeez. They definitely want us to, uh, these are dark magics. Okay. Well, I guess most of the cards in this set have dark in their name. And magic, and magic or magician. So, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Three dark magicians. Play set of those bad boys. Come on, we gotta get like one polymerization at least. Black Luster. Soldier. Take another look at that guy. Girl. Girl. Okay. Here we go. Stronghold. And oh baby, there it is. Polymerization. The alternate art. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your side of the field as fusion materials. And monster reborn. Oh baby, nice pack. So finally getting the last super rare in the set there. The polymerization. Okay. Let's see what else we can pull. Like I said, two polys would be nice. Just maybe, just maybe, two Dark Paladins as well. Brain Control, or Light Force Sword. <laughs> Too many Brain Controls. They're controlling my brain. Make me think every card is Brain Control. Queen's Knight dominates her opponents with swift yet graceful attacks. A master swordsman, swordswoman. King's Knight. That's And so rare wise or uh, monster wise for the set for four stars and less, we do have the gadgets. That's actually a pretty good four star lineup. Got the gadgets. Kings and Queens wouldn't be bad. Um, what else? We got Marshmallows. So I think we'll definitely have a good setup of monsters. Big Shield Gardeners, too. Yeah. We'll be alright. Fusion Wave Motion, King's Knight, and the Dog Magician, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. We gotta throw in like one catapult turtle just to potentially win the game with that card. Or destroy our opponent's um, floating castles in the sky. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. And oh baby, another dark paladin. That is awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. So two dark paladins. Oh man out of uh, 72 packs. One Mirror Force. Wow, I like how it's keeping up a consistent ratio. This is pretty cool. All right, you guys. Here we go. Great control. Another Monster Reborn, that's nice. Let's set these right there. Okay, so what else? Another polymerization would be nice. We got the play set of Dark Magician Girls. Just to have it, another Summon Skull would go go well with this as well. 
And then um, another Mirror Force. Heart of the Cards guide us. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Wow. Four of those. Jeez. So much darkness. Dark. Big Shield Garna Exchange this time. So the interesting thing about the Kaiba pack is it's one, I believe, ultimate per 36 packs. So. And oh, baby, another Mirror Force. Wow, with Monster Reborn again. Those ultra rares coming with that Monster Reborn. Um, wow. So we ended up getting two of each. Because I think this is, is this two cases of Duelist Pack um, Yugi and Kaiba. So there is a ratio to a case of the collector's box. Wow. Though the supers seem a little random. Um, okay, now we need that polymerization to get out our two Dark Paladins. Here we go, guys. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, snap! Dark Magician! Oh, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, Dark Paladin. Three Dark Paladins! Now, that was unexpected. Wow. Five Ultras. Three, a play set of Dark Paladins. No way. That is awesome. Seriously. Holy guacamole. All right. All right. Well, now we're going for four, or a third Mirror Force to go with the two Dark Paladins. Well, this side is now better than the, uh, our last 36 packs is definitely better than our first now with three Dark Paladins. I guess we did have three Dark Mission Girls on the other side. Holy crap. All right, you guys, that's incredible. Well, uh, come on, Polly. Polymerization. It was the Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> and Cards of Sanctity. That card seems like it'd be insane if we did the anime effect. Jack Knight. Strong Master Swordsman who's loyal to justice and his duty to protect protect the weak. Oh, what? Oh, baby, another Mirror Force. Wow. Wow. What is going on? Three. A play set of Mirror Force. And a play set of Dark Paladins. That just happened. Holy shnikes, Batman. Wow. Wow. Still got over 10 packs, you guys. Jeez, that is insane. Three Mirror Forces. Marshmallow. Is Mirror Force unlimited right now? Well, either way. That's going to be hard to deal with for uh, Mr. Mr. Kaiba. Cards of Sanctity. Summon Skull and Polymerization. Let's go. You go! Polymerization. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. We're just going hard right now. So that's two Polymerizations. And so now we can definitely get out two Dark Paladins. I don't even know what to do with all of these foils. What do we have foil wise right now? We got two, six, nine, eleven, eleven supers, and seventeen, six ultras. Wow. So we have seventeen foils. We already have more foils than I thought we'd get. Alright. Was that off? Is it was it eighteen foils? Eight times four. Yeah. Eighteen foils is what we're shooting for. And seven skull! Eighteen foils. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. All right, so uh, I think I'm now out of sleeves. Let's uh, let's switch it up to the peach. Wow. Play set of summit skulls. All right, now we need that last polymerization. But then we got a play set of every card in this set. That is incredible. King's Knight. Oh, Swords of Dark Magic. Ooh, Swords of Dark Magic. And then another Monster Reborn. Sword of Dark Magic, that's nice. Okay. Polymerization, you guys, come on. Play sets, play sets. That's crazy.
crazy. Three of each ultra. You know what be icing on the cake is another Dark Paladin. Brain control. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. The Dark Magician. Brain control. Marshmallow. Five more packs. Alright. We've already asked Yugi. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Last five packs. Will Kaiba, Kaiba give us another polymerization or dark paladin? Let's do this. Marshmallow again. Jeez, those marshmallows. Those gooey little cuties. Jack Snide, Catapult Turtle, and no way! A fourth Mirror Force! Whoa! So Kaiba's like, nah, let's not do any more Dark Paladins. No, 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 not against my deck. Wow, a fourth Mirror Force. That's crazy. We have more Mirror Forces than we do two of our Supers, three of our Supers. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. Anything we get at this point is pretty insane. Final two packs of Destiny. Exchange, and then the final pack, you guys. From this epic 72 pack, massive Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Pack Yu-Gi box open. Can't complain. Can we get that third poly? Or that fourth Dark Paladin? The ultimate wizard in terms of attack. And defense. Stronghold the Moving Fortress. Wow, you guys. That is insane. Insane. Alright, so uh, let's get right into it then. For a quick recap, the rares that we got inside. Once again, there's seven rares in this set. We have Cards of Sanctum, Card of Sanctum, Magic Glass, Exchange, Marshmallow, Monster Reborn, Dark Magician, and the Black Luster Soldier. Very nice. And then we have for our super rares, jeez. We had two polymerizations, three dark magician girls, four sorcerers of dark mat, five sorcerers of dark magic. Dang. And then three summon skulls. Wow, that is crazy. And then for our ultras, we had four mirror forces. Okay, and three Dark Paladins. Very nice. Epic opening, you guys. So, uh, once again, if you guys want to post in the comments below what you guys think about this epic Duelist Pack Yugi set, and also just some of the different cards you think we may we may need to add, I think we might be all right. Because I wanted to be like the Duel of Destiny for this, kind of like the first, well, I guess Exodia was in the first Yugi deck for versus Kaiba, but... Either way, we'll see. We'll see how we do it. But yeah, post in the comments below what you guys think. And thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And of course, um, stay tuned for the Duelist Pack Kaiba booster box opening. Another massive booster box opening. That one should be a little more epic because there's a little more cards in the set. But also, the um, we can actually get ultimate rares of some of the different cards in there. So uh, yeah, that'll be crazy. And simply, oh, I'm lucky signing out. Thank you.